Spiky, you look frustrated. What's wrong? There's nothing on earth that interests me. Nothing on earth? How about outside earth? What's outside earth? Outer space or just space. Our earth is a tiny part of space. So are the sun and the moon. The study of stars, planets, and other bodies in space is known as astronomy. Space also has asteroids, comets, and meteors. Astronomy sounds amazing. Can we go to space for a field trip? <laughs> Spiky, countries take years to plan a trip to space. We can't simply go by ourselves. Why not? Well, there are many challenges to space travel. The biggest one is cost. To travel to space, we cannot take an airplane because airplanes are not designed to go into space. A large team of engineers and scientists have to build a special vehicle called a space shuttle to go to space. These shuttles are very expensive to build and maintain. Shuttles have rockets to cross the sky, leave the Earth's atmosphere, and enter space. Space travel is risky as well. Shuttles often fail during liftoff. An accident while the shuttle is in the middle of a flight is dangerous. The good news is, such accidents are less likely than before because of advances in technology. So, once we have a safe shuttle, can we go into space? Well, imagine you just reached space. If there's no air, there won't be any... Oxygen! I won't be able to breathe! Yes, you will need a special spacesuit that has an oxygen tank. Space can be extremely cold or hot, and the suit also protects you against these extreme temperatures. There won't be any food or water in space, so you will have to bring some from Earth. You can't drink from a glass or eat from a plate. The food will just float away from you. So it needs to be prepared and packed in a certain way. Oh, the food will float away because space has zero gravity. Actually, did you know that space does not have zero gravity? That's a common misunderstanding. There is a small amount of gravity everywhere in space because there are stars, planets, and other bodies everywhere. However, this background gravity is very weak. So you are right. The food will float away from you if you are not careful. Even worse, digestion may become problematic since there is no gravity to pull food down into your stomach. Let's do an exercise now to see how well you know the challenges of space travel. Can trees grow in space? Support your answer with reasons. Trees cannot grow in space. Trees need oxygen for respiration, carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, and water. Space does not provide any of these substances. The temperature in space is too extreme as well. So why should we explore space if there are so many challenges? Because there are so many benefits. An understanding of space allowed us to launch satellites. The cell phones we use, the TV channels we watch, and the weather forecasts we follow are all possible because of satellites. Space may have natural resources like metals and fuel that we can gather in the future. There's another important reason. Tell me, Spiky, why does a young child want to leave the house and go outside? To explore the world around him or her. Exactly! That same desire makes us want to explore space as well. Let's summarize what we have learned. The study of stars, planets, and other bodies in space is known as astronomy. Traveling to space is expensive and risky. Such travel requires an aircraft known as a space shuttle and special clothes called a spacesuit. 
A spacesuit provides oxygen and protects against the extreme temperatures of space.